it's Michele here and finally welcome to another DDT for all video tutorial. Uh, the today's video will be longer than the other one because uh, there are some uh, uh, ideas we have to focus on because uh, uh, today's video uh, it's about how to uh, change the welcome sequence of the uh, external LEDs as you all know, when you unlock the car, the external LED will uh, turn on and remain static. But uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make them uh, blink or fade or uh, flash intermit in uh, intermittently <laughs> and uh, uh, stuff like that. But uh, as I said, this video is longer because there are two parameters we have to focus on. The first is the uh, the clock because there's a parameter which is the clock of the uh, of the timer. So because welcome sequence and the goodbye sequence have both uh, a timing uh, a timing sequence instead. And uh, in the in the for all we'll we'll we will see how we can uh, change it, and uh, it's easier to do than to speak about it. So. Please uh, uh, stay focused and uh, let's start with the video. Finally, we're ready for this tutorial. So, first thing, as always, open DDT for all. Uh, use the Wi-Fi interface because I have the Wi-Fi interface. Uh, I know that uh, I can arm my car if badly used, blah, 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 as usual. And then, okay. So, make some room. And now select the car as always. Uh, if you have the Megane, select the Megane. If you have the Shinik, select uh, the Shinik. If you have whatever you have, select the car that you have. Now I have the Megane version one, so I go to XFB Megane four. Click. Now we have to uh, search for an ECU called uh, UPC MM UPC slash EMM, which is the um, Sometimes it's the, the latest one you will find in this uh, in this list and double click on it You have to select then USM CMF one sailing before the second one from the, the up Okay, double click once again here And now here there are the subclusters you have to search for uh, lights which are uh, this lights open it and lights configuration okay i haven't clicked yet but uh, once you click the don't worry if the system freezes for a few seconds it's normal because this ecu it's very uh, it's very tough and very complicated so the system will take uh, a few seconds to elaborate it so don't worry okay mine t mine took like uh, 10 seconds to to load Okay, now, there are a lot of parameters, but we have to focus on two major areas. And as I said before, please pay attention because uh, we have to do a, um, a bit of math here. So <laughs> please pay attention. Okay, the first thing we have to uh, search is the timing clock, uh, which, e which gives us the, uh, uh, the single step uh, of uh, our uh, job we have to do. And I'll teach you in a while why I said that. Okay, the first thing we have to search is uh, scenario step. It's this one, okay? Remember that is in uh, uh, seconds. So, scenario steps, it means that the clock uh, is uh, 0 0.16 seconds. So, it's 160 milliseconds, okay? And now we are going to see why we need this. Now, if we go down if we scroll down I, I suggest you to never use the scroll but always the always use the the arrows because uh, with the scroll you can uh, you can modify some parameters and maybe you didn't realize uh, that you have modified them so uh, if you write uh, some ECUs it will be some troubles for you okay now we have to go we have to search here okay goodbye scenario DRL goodbye scenario it means that uh, uh, the behavior of the uh, LED when you close the car. So goodbye scenario, okay? And you see that there is 100 and zero. So uh, 
why I, why I used the, the uh, scenario steps before because every of this you see 0 1 2 3 4 is a step is a scenario step so it means that uh, if we put uh, uh, 160 milliseconds so 0 0.16 second it means that every of these step it will be long 0 0.16 seconds so 0 0.16 seconds 0 0.16 seconds 0 0.16 seconds and so on until you reach the uh, 64 I guess 63 sorry because there are 64 because the first it's called 0 okay from 0 to 64 every of these step so 63 62 61 60 59 it's uh, 160 millisecond long what uh, what does it mean it means that if you see my so every of these steps is 160 milliseconds long so um, if you want to do like my led uh, so uh, the blink uh, you have to uh, do 100 0 100 0 to make uh, the led blinks two time and uh, if you if you do a math uh, 160 millisecond times three it means that this is be is long like an half in a second so half in a second on half in a second off half in a second on half in a second off and then for like four or five seconds the led are on and then they slowly are starting to fade until they reach zero okay and this uh, you can uh, you can also do uh, the welcome scenario which is the uh, when you lock uh, sorry when you unlock the car so I, I did uh, like the same so on off on off uh, and then the, the LEDs are starting to fade on uh, until they reach 100% and they stay for and they stay on to 100% for like uh, uh, five or six seconds okay and uh, if you do the math uh, 64 times 160 millisecond it's gonna be like uh, 10 or 11 seconds so the entire uh, sequence is going to be uh, it's going to uh, be long 100 uh, sorry 10 or 11 seconds okay and uh, basically you, you can choose uh, how long it uh, will be because uh, with the, the where is it I lost it Okay, where, where the, when the scenario step timing, you can barely choose uh, how long the animation will be. If you put 0 0.08 uh, and doing the math, the whole animation will be long 5 seconds. If you put 0 0.16, the animation is going to be long uh, 10 seconds and so on. Okay, so this uh, is the goodbye scenario, so the, uh, when you lock the car. This is the welcome scenario, so when you unlock the car, and these two are for the front led now you can do the same thing actually for the back led so tail it means that there are the back leds okay and like the uh, front led there are the 64 steps so i suggest you to copy and paste the same configuration from the for the front and for the back led so uh, it will, it, it's, it's gonna be uh, easier for you and uh, the the car will behave better than freaking Christmas tree okay <laughs> and um, you can barely do whatever you want so even from the welcome scenario from the goodbye scenario from the front and for the back lads so just uh, uh, write uh, on a paper the and you do the math for uh, the whole animation if you want to do a slowly fade on you can start with 0 then 3 6 9 12 15 18 21 24 27 30 and so on until you reach 100 if you want to do the uh, blink like me you can copy my configuration so 100 0 100 0 and so on and uh, this is pretty this is pretty old so uh, I know maybe it's not so easy but uh, it's just more difficult to explain this than to do it it's just uh, you can 
you can do whatever you want you can choose whatever configuration you want and uh, I hope guys you you like the video and I hope I hope to had explained it, it in a uh, easy way to to under to for you to understand if you have uh, some issues of if you need more information please uh, write me a comment and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for other tutorials and drop me a like to help my channel grow up okay so guys uh, this is all and i hope you enjoy this tutorial and see you next time bye